Hello everyone, welcome back to DevOps Cloud with Ari again. So in the previous video, we already learned about the deployment, about the service and config map and also the secret. But the thing is, let's say in your cluster, actually you have like several deployment with several uh, application that you have published uh, as a service. So is that possible? So let's try that. Okay. So kubectl get deployment. I already prepared to deployment, which is like about our nginx that listening on port 80 and previously we already have like a service to publish the port to port 8080 for the nginx load balancer so when we are like uh, publishing this okay we will get this kind of the uh landing page okay but then let's try to publish the second app this is the completely different content for that so let's try to create a a service first kubectl expose deployment engine x app 2 and let's name the service is engine x2 load balancer and the port is 8080 the same one target port is 80 and the type is load balancer is that possible so oh so it mentioned that the surface is exposed but let's see see now it's the different so in the first attempt actually for this first uh and deployment for the nginx app actually we got a sign for the local host for the external ip but then for the second one it is like pending because of we already assigned the port 80 to this external ip so we don't have any external ip anymore so we cannot do that in order to expose the second service actually we can choose to use the another port in this case let me uh, create uh, delete the service first And then change the port to be like 8081 something like this and then when we check again in the surface it will show that the external ip now is localhost means like we can access the ip the content of the content the port right now see it's different so both are working now but then what is the question what is the answer for the question if you want to have one single entry of the endpoint let's say in the port of 80 for the http and 843 for the https what we can do and the answer is actually this one the ingress so ingress is actually object object in the kubernetes that able to help us to do the routing for the uh, request for that coming from user so we can route the incoming request based on the definition to which surface or to which spot that we want to redirect the request so but first if you want to do this in your uh, local kubernetes using the docker desktop you need to install the kubernetes ingress first using this command i will put this in the uh, description of the video you just need to <coughs> enable this and once this one is enabled then you are ready to create the ingress so now let's try to have the idea of redirecting the request based on the domain okay so later we need to set the this one we need to set the um, static host file so we can like redirect i mean like to point out that this ip is actually pointing to the local host now let's try to do that i already prepared the ingress for this one ingress definition so and i will like explain that so the ap version is like networking kubernetes io version 1 and the kind is ingress we already installed and prepared that and the name you can choose the default name let's say this one is nginx app ingress and the annotation you can use this and the spec the ingress class name the class name is the nginx and the rules is that the first rule is for the host that the name is like app1.aria.id for the http with the path is like slash and it is like prefix then i will choose the back end for this is the service nginx load balancer got it so whenever i access app1.aria.id what i can expect is i will get this kind of uh, response okay and then if you want to put another rule let's say i have the second app then 
we can put something like this and choose the app tool and the nginx to load balancer for the service and see the ip is like already different see this one so now what we can do is let's save this and put the static domain here and apply the ingress see now the ingress is created and then kubectl get ingress let's see see now we already have this nginx app ingress nginx app1 and app2 so let's wait for a moment it could be like we still need to wait for the address and later if you want to access this this one still accessible actually because of we are not deleting the service but still let's try okay it's not fun for it because we don't like pointing anymore see now the app one is pointing to this one okay to the container one but then the app two now it's pointing to the second one so we already know we already have the ingress that routing the surface see this like yeah we need to wait like two or three minutes maybe but then it is the address is assigned to localhost port 80 so now we already have this one so by this kind of way it means like you can have multiple applications running on your cluster and then you are can set you can set your ingress and redirect the requests coming from outside of your con cluster to be uh, forwarded to the surface and then to the to the port that you already defined and now you don't need to confuse like how we can do the, the access of the cluster since you already learned about the ingress so if you still have any question related to the ingress don't forget to put your uh, question in the comment section and if you found that this video is useful for you don't forget to subscribe to channel and also share this video in your social media again see you in the next video